Welcome to this Optimize Press Clubhouse video. Today we're looking at a new template called Suit. Now, here it is on the screen. This is a template tailored for people maybe in the suit or bespoke tailoring industry. And we'll start going down it. I'll show you some of this. It's got some very nice little touches that we've put in with some CSS. I think you're gonna like this. It's a beautiful theme. So starting at the top, we have the logo section here. You see we've put in a logo and it's inside a featured box, which actually has a darker background on it, which makes it sit and just stand out on top of that image behind it. So it just sort of highlights the logo in place. Of course, you could just switch that out and actually just put your logo, you know, delete this entire row and then put your logo so it sits over the image. But we've used the little box to highlight it and make it stand out. The image as well is also fixed in the back there with a bit of CSS, which so is fixed in place. And then we drop down into the header section. We've got the smaller title heading at the top where it says bespoke tailoring then below that the subheading or is which really is the main headline of this which actually stands out more it's got a bolder font on it and it's obviously much bigger font as well so straight away you, you're into the the section here with the large headline and drops down into that blue tone call to action we open up the overlay optimizer now inside that we've included our progress bar with our headline and then we've also added in another field which could be like a question so you could actually maybe ask a particular type of question that you wanted to get asked or answered before you have your consultation so we've included a little another field in there of course you could switch these out and obviously put your own fields or your own content whatever was pros you know whatever you needed for someone to maybe inquire about a consultation or you could obviously switch that out and just put an opt-in form, you know, so you can collect your name and emails or even a content video. So that's our example there of the overlay optimizer. Now we're going to scroll down. We've used this same blue tone into these um, sections here with the featured blocks. So you can see we've got a lovely blue tone, lots of white space around it, little bold headlines above the sort of text area, and then with these custom icons that are related to this template theme. And you can see we've used the little tiny icons throughout this in the other places on the template further down the page we'll cover them in a sec so this could be your benefit section you know highlighting some of the things that are required with your you know your business maybe things that you offer this could be your benefits highlighting how processes work below this we've included also a video section we drop down and we've kept that blue tone in the headline font there and then the large darker fonts so is keeping that consistency in our font sort of heading sections we've got the smaller and then the larger headline below and we've included another text block and then the video over on the right a great place for you to put an introduction or explaining something about your product or your service now going further down in, into this we've included a large row straight across with a bold headline in the middle that white font that just stands out this is a quote that we've used perfect place where you could put maybe one of your testimonials from a customer or even a quote from a big recognized brand something you could get in there stands out we've used that sort of color tone as well on that that blue tone on that image so keeping that consistency throughout this template and as we scroll on down we've used um, three sections here to highlight some numbers or some facts about your business or maybe some stats on how you process things and you'll notice this box in the middle these three sections here are actually featured boxes and we've included the second one or the middle one to be a grey background so it just stands out between the other two either side of it. So that's something I'll show you how you can do that in a second in the live editor. Um, going below that we've included a testimonial section so a good place to put in you know testimonials or even like the team so actually in this example sorry we've used the team we've included the pictures of our image but you could easily change this to you know to be testimonials of people who have used or people who have purchased suits from you or purchased your product and a bit of css adding the rounded effect to those images they're actually square images as well so um, you could also use that any way you want show your team or show you know testimonials and below that another row with a slightly darker background than the white or a slightly off-white and then we've used um, the heading section and then the text block and then over on the right we've got a custom bullet icon used in our bullet list and then going further down again another row a large row which highlights a testimonial or even like a quote again with that darker background image and then the large white font all the way across it really stands out now as we drop down into this section this is my favorite section of the template we've used the split coloring of this row and this is done with a little tiny graphic which i'm now about to show you again in the live editor and this sort of splits up that row so you can put content either side and just breaks up you know the row how it looks really to the eye and it's using that blue color so it's just a nice break in the page and then at the bottom 
last remaining call to action again we've cloned that down from the top section and put it put it in the bottom there so see your last call to action on that page so let's jump into the live editor I'm going to show you a couple of things let's scroll on down here I'm going to show you the featured box section so this section here with the stats we've included these are featured boxes and you can see if we hover over we've got a little box there if I click on that one and we bring up the featured box creator we go into advanced options and scroll on down there's our background color we've added there so that's all it is it's just a simple box added in it's a set of 300 pixels wide each of them are and it's just got a slight background color which makes it stand out between the other two white ones either side so um, a simple design effect but very easy to do inside optimize press here and if we go on down I'm going to show you the split row so this split row section here um, it's just obviously a one column row and we've added some CSS called here row image left now that will be found inside the page settings I'll show you that in a second if I highlight that and copy it so this is row image left which we've set in the row class and below here you can just see that's the image it's a small you know a few pixels square and that image is set to cover and stretch okay so that's how that's done and that's been applied to both of these rows and the CSS is in page settings other scripts and then if we expand this do a search on this page for row image left you can see here there's the background it sets the size of the image that just controls it that's basically what makes it sit halfway across on that page so it takes the image and pulls it over to 50 percent of the page so that's it that's how you add these little effects and obviously you could switch this out with you could just upload a new colored small square you know if it matched your branding if you're changing the color of this page so you could put a red square or green blue yellow square whatever you wanted um, as long as you just replace that image inside the row so that is it that is suits it's available inside the clubhouse for you to download now and as always drop us an email if you're using it in your business